Our children are bored today. They're bored to death in school because the curriculum has not changed. In our country, we're graduating about 84,000 engineers a year. Other countries like India and China recognize the importance to them to have more engineers and technicians coming out of their system. For example, China is graduating about 300,000 every year. Significant difference between 84,000 and 300,000. There's nothing more at stake than the continuance of the nation's prosperity and a national defense. That's what's at stake here. So why is Project Lead the Way important? It's important because it's extremely complementary to the existing curriculum. The students are in those traditional math courses and science courses, and they come to this curriculum where they are using all of that knowledge and skill in a contextual way to solve real world problems that they can relate to that is relevant to them. For many students, it's the most exciting part of their day. It's one thing for a student to have, to be able to read a book and to be able to retain knowledge. It's something completely different for the same student to be able to apply that knowledge to a real world problem. It's a long process, but I think by the end they come out much better for it. It's problem solving. It's something new to do every day. It's not mundane. It's not a waste of your time. It's, I don't know, you create. It's worth it. It isn't just preparing students to become engineers and technicians and so forth. It really is all about teaching them to be creative and innovative. And that's done through a very carefully crafted project problem-based curriculum. It's perfect for what we do. It's perfect for incorporating the drawing that we need to learn how to do. And it helps us, it helps perpetuate us towards more complex engineering. They have become engaged in school, they become better students, their, their grades go up in all subjects, and our evaluation shows that, that students that are in our program do better in high stakes exams than students that are not. One of the attributes of this program that I take such personal pride in is the quality of the teachers that have participated in our professional development. I've been here at Albany High School for 22 years now. Um, five years ago we started looking at Project Lead the Way. All the students enjoy the Project Lead the Way because there is that hands-on element. This one I like more because it's more free. We're doing a lot of stuff like on our own. Like we get a topic, he explains it to us, and then we try it. And if we can't get it, then he'll come over and help us. And if we still can't get it, like we just keep trying until we can get it. A lot of the students involved like it because it does involve not just the academic side, the technical side, but it involves the hands-on side. You're up out of your seat, you're, you're building something or designing something, constructing something, you're seeing the actual product work at the end. So I think that's real important for, for high school students to see the end product. It's available at her high school, but she wasn't enrolled in any of the classes. So I had to go down to the school and actually, you know, do the pounding on the chest mother stomping feet routine and got her enrolled in Project Lead the Way. Oh, we made this little gadget today. The whole hands-on, project-based problem solving has helped her in her other classes because, again, it gives you that opportunity to express yourself in ways that sitting in a chair and being lectured to don't always exhibit. So it's been a godsend for her. Solder these little pins in, and then he just gave us the supplies and we soldered it in. Is that the digital class? Yep. The problem solving aspect of it allows her to take that skill set that wasn't developed yet and now she can apply that to not only in the classroom, but I see her doing that on her basketball team, on her volleyball team, when there are situations whereby she has to, you know, take a leadership position because she's had that opportunity in Project Lead the Way courses to be a leader, she can take that now and do that on her own. And she does it very well and she uses those skills on her mom and dad as well. Sometimes I'm like, wait a second, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's one question. It helped her just grow in such a leaps and bounds already that I'm, I'm just really, really happy that she's involved in that. In September of 2006, Project Lead the Way will be in almost 1,800 schools in 46 states and the District of Columbia, 
And when I think of those numbers, reflecting back nine years ago when we thought that if we would be in 20 schools in upstate New York, we would have succeeded. This program has really captured, I believe, the imagination of many school leaders in terms of engaging students and preparing the next generation of engineers and technical workers in the country. Mechanical engineering? Why? Because I like building things, taking things apart, you know, making something new. She has also chosen now a career that she wants to pursue. She wants to go into engineering, whereas before this, she was all over the place, you know. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do this, I don't do that. I mean, every day it changed, but now she has engineering, has a goal. She knows engineering is where she wants to be.